absolutely beautiful. We are at the grand entrance of the presidential palace. And the first thing that you see are these huge doors, which at the top have the emblem of the United Arab Emirates, the falcon and the flag. But what's inside is what's truly remarkable. Let's take a look. Voila, we have entered the presidential palace. And the first thing you'll see is the architecture, all based on Islamic architecture and wide open spaces, which gives me that sense of exploration, of just being able to roam around freely and explore everything this palace has to offer. And that is exactly what we're gonna do. We're going now into a place called the Barza, and it's when the leader or the sheikh opens up his majlis or his sitting area to the people. That is where people would visit, pay their respects, just say hello. Um, if they have any queries or any concerns, they would raise it to the leader. And this is something that dates back to the very beginning of the UAE. It is the essence of leadership. And even now, today, if you look outside any of the homes of our leaders, you'll always see people on a certain day going to visit, to say hello, to ask things. And this is what it looks like on the inside. So, as you can see outside and a lot inside, you'll see white being used, which is a symbol of peace and purity. But look at this. It's absolutely gorgeous. Right here is the heart of the palace. And from this heart of the palace, all the way up to the top of the dome is 15 floors. Another important thing, this was selected by His Highness Sheikh Khalifa, the President of the United Arab Emirates and ruler of Abu Dhabi. Every color means something in this palace. So the yellow here represents the desert or the sands of the United Arab Emirates. And the blue here represents the waters of the Arabian Gulf. Pretty amazing for me when you see something this big is the amount of thought that is put into every single detail. Like everything in such a grand place serves a specific purpose or tells a specific message. And for me, that's a beautiful thing. And we are not exaggerating. Let me show you one more thing to just magnify that detail, the marble. Every specific piece of marble here was hand selected. And if you look across the palace at all the marble, it flows the design into the other one. Everything flows. What you'll see here and what they're trying to do in most parts of the palace is preserve the Islamic architecture, the Islamic culture. And if you look up there, it resembles sort of what you see when you enter a mosque. Uh, they call it the minbar, or it gives you the direction of Mecca. And that is what this represents. So they're trying to do that as much as possible in this palace, which is really heartwarming for me, because it's not just a place where you come and see this, you know, the grandness of a palace, but you also learn a lot about the history and what's trying to be preserved in this country. I think that's an educational experience for a lot of people from around the world who come here and visit. Very beautiful. A big part of UAE and the UAE history is collaboration. Different emirates coming together, different people from around the world coming together to build this country into what it is today. So we're going into a room now that's called the spirit of collaboration, that celebrates collaboration, that promotes why we have collaborated and why it has been a source of strength for this country. Let's go in. Some of the most important meetings in the Arab and Islamic world have happened here. Here is where they actually hosted Arab League summits, Islamic League summits, and Gulf League summits, where they would all come together and discuss how to progress and push this region, the Arab region, and the Islamic region forward. We're falling behind on the tour. So what is, what is the structure in the middle of the, of the knowledge section? 
So this is a very important structure. It's made by an Emirati artist called Mathar bin Lahij, and it's a, a Sheikh Zayed quote where he says that the wealth is not the money or the petrol. The wealth is actually the human. So we have to invest in people, not with money. Gorgeous. And to think I'm standing in the middle of an art structure that represents probably one of the most powerful quotes ever by our founder. I love it. Yes. I love it. It's yes. beautiful. beautiful. So we gathered from every civilization or every country like China, Greece, what they think a leader should be. Oh. And they all agreed that a noble leader should be a leader that makes decisions that benefits his people. The Arab golden age, a time of big importance for the Arab world where you saw a lot of leaps and bounds in this part of the world in mathematics, in science, in all these different areas. This section of the palace is dedicated to that era. Arab culture is captured in the storytelling, is captured in the arts, and in this side of the knowledge they have a thousand and one nights and some of the first Arab instruments that were really used as tools to express emotion and love. Okay, now the one thing that we haven't been told throughout this tour is the these mirror structures and she thinks she's gonna get away with this, but we found the tour guide who just disappeared all of a sudden. We found her. Excuse me, uh, hi, tour guide. Yes, um, there's one thing that you didn't explain Which that is? was kind of obvious, so I don't know why you wouldn't explain it. Which is? What are these uh, mirror things? I explained it, but someone was late. Oh, snap. <laughs> is that a good... You know, she was talking about it while uh, yeah, yeah. I came to I know. I told you. Yeah, yeah. I was joking. <laughs> Just testing. <laughs> and our tour has come to an end. It gave me goosebumps every single second walking through the presidential palace, or Ghasr al-Watan, as it's known to the world to just be able to share all these messages of hope, of peace, of understanding, of leadership. A place where people can come and learn about our history, not just of the UAE, but of the Arab culture, of the Islamic culture. A culture that is welcoming, a culture that's warm to the heart. And for me, that is something that I'm most proud of. Thank you all for joining me on the tour. Much love and God bless.